Meanwhile, this effery, where are you? Midoriya, where are you? Murder death god here is having, an, he's having issues. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXXChic, and we are back with another reaction to My Hero Academia. We are now on to episode that is called Extras. So last episode, we got the whole uh, Todoroki brother fight, and in the end, my boy, <clears throat> excuse me, Shoto managed to take care of things, but it was at great cost to pretty much everything around them. But also we got the background on uh, Dobby and how he got to where he is. But either way, at least that particular fight is now done and Dobby has been subdued. And now we are moving on to, it looks like another fight with All For One, because that's one that we have not seen anything of since this whole thing kicked off. So I am very much looking forward to seeing what kind of fight is going to be here, because we know All For One's pretty powerful, but he doesn't have Shigaraki to bounce off of this time. So I'm ready to see how this fight's going to kick off. <clears throat> And pardon me, I'm a little bit sick today, so I may not talk as much, but I'm going to do my best. All right, so let's get into the episode. Just before I do, though, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know of when I upload episodes to this show or anything else you might be watching of mine, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you'll be in the know. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Call me a half-baked doll again. See what happens to you. Rude. Rude. He said, we are family. Whether you like it or not. Respectfully, Dobby, you were never as strong as Shoto. <laughs> you're strong, but you were never as strong as Shoto. And that sucks considering what your dad put you through, but it's the reality. Oh, thanks for rejoining the party. It's okay. Todoroki took care of it all by himself. It's fine. You have the nerve to call that in. You hurry up and secure him first before you say that. That's right. Shoto needs to take a break, y'all. That was not an easy person to take down. Don't cheer yet. Go help him. Of course, he's crying. I mean, it's way too early to say that. It is way too early. Dobby was definitely probably the least worrisome out of all the people he had to go up against. <laughs> running? Why are you running? Drown them. Drown every last one of them. Did you? Did you? Rude. Burn everybody. Burn them to ash. Ooh, it's true, he did. Let's go, Class A! I mean, I'm glad Todoroki's victory is giving everybody some encouragement. Meanwhile, this effery. Where are you? Midoriya, where are you? Murder death god here is having an, he's having issues. Aw. That's a respect coming from Bakugo, because he don't like nobody. <laughs> Why are you talking so much? Uh-huh. No, he's just a weirdo. All for one no chicken. Great. Does it mean you'll stop talking? Whatever gets you to stop monologuing, I'm for it. Oh, move! Yes, he did. It is possible and it happened. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Did he? Interesting. So, All For One offered him another quirk and he didn't take it. Okay, Dobby. I actually respect that. Ugh! Ew! Ew! So this is what they mean by extras. So you took on an extra quirk and you're still gonna lose? 
He's a problem. Why are you saying that this is a goodbye? You're saying that like it's the last time. <coughs> because that glimmer of hatred from his father is still in there. And now he feels even worse because he lost to his little brother who he's always thought was better than him anyway. I really need y'all to lock him up or something. The fact that he's still not actually tied up. Anyway. This is all truth, though. Endeavor really needs to, like, face up to this and own it. Otherwise, he's never going to move past it. That he shouldn't do again. That's true. Ew. You need to be careful around him. <laughs> Ooh. The names. Ew. Is there a way to make him shut up? Can you even get close to him? Because it's looking like you're having a really hard time. Yo, Hawks, you should be behind him right now. It's getting hot in here, so melt off all your clothes. Blah, blah, blah. All you do is talk, bro. That's what I'm saying. This man's greatest superpower is that he talks so much smack. Like, just punch him in the mouth or stop listening to him. I would just, like, put earplugs in. Oh, God. He doesn't know the story yet. Because I took it. Yeah, unfortunately. It's not a matter of separating your past. It's a matter of owning it. Like, unfortunately, he was a shit dad to both his kids. All of his kids, actually. But that doesn't mean he can't be better now. Like, take all that anger from what he's saying to you and burn this man to hell. Well, that was quick. Woo! Look at the students coming to the rescue. My man said that's my mentor. You're not coming from her again, you ugly, no face bitch. Do your best, girl. Ooh. Not you getting. Sir, focus on the battle at hand. They're gonna help you. He loves you, bro. I think he's alright, bro. You're gonna have to let him figure it out. That is his whole side, though. God damn. Bro, you can carterize that. Literally. You need to do it right now. You did, but can we deal with this later? Can you carterize that? Yeah, he's gonna have to figure it out. Here's the reality, bro, that even, like, it's either they die now or after All for One comes to power, one or the other. So let them at least go down the way they want. Hmm. Ew! Yeah, y'all are having this long ass conversation. Damn. Maybe that's why you shouldn't have been up there if you can't fly. She's good. Keep going. Then do it. Stop talking and do it, please. I'm tired. Yes, well, this is battle, sis. Let's go. Stop. 
So gross. That's terrifying. Shit. Damn. Y'all really couldn't take on this weekend mofo? I'm kidding. I know he's no joke. Oh no! Her, oh, oh god! Her ear thing is damaged! Oh god! I mean, they tried. Damn. Uh, I guess it's kind of impossible to think there would be some casualties, right? Yeah, please do come back, bro. It's not going good for the others. All right. Wow, that was a mess, to put it mildly. Wow. Um, as I said, it was kind of nice to see that Todoroki's victory kind of helped to... <coughs> kind of helped to inspire everybody else to know that this isn't a completely lost battle because obviously they know they're going up a lot against a lot the criminals the nomus these superpowered villains who are just full of vengeance so yeah it's a lot so hearing at least one of the battles went the way they wanted it to we see that it's definitely giving them a little bit of a encouragement to keep fighting and to do better but obviously it's still not going to be easy like these guys are no joke we see that they are attacking the place where, was it Gigomantia? I, I never know how to say, but the big dude. They're trying to get him released because they know that if that happens, it's pretty much game over. But thankfully they're realizing it's not gonna be easy. They're definitely protecting that area a lot and try to work hard to make sure that doesn't happen. And then we saw that with, uh, what's his name? The the green, the snake toad guy. He uh, can't believe that Dobby was defeated because I guess he looked up to Dobby for like the sheer willpower that kid has and um it's kind of good though because like that's the that's the double-edged sword situation when it comes to this type of information right it's bolstering the side like the it's bolstering the hero side but here for the villains to hear that one of the the strongest the toughest dobby has been taken down it's a bit of a morale hit so we see that he doesn't want to believe it but it's helpful because if it gets him a little bit upset and sloppy, that can be good for our group. But he definitely looks pretty fearsome right now. We see that he did take on another quirk that All For One gave him another quirk. I'm assuming it's the one that gave him the size and the strength. Um, and we also see that All For One offered Dobby an additional quirk and Dobby said no. He said, no, nah, I'm fine. If I can't do it with my own, I don't want to do it. So I'm like, I respect that, Dobby. He was like, nah, man, keep your creepy little fingers to yourself. Let me go do this on my own. But that also goes in line with Dobby's whole wanting to prove to his dad that his flames were good enough. So it wouldn't be a true victory if he had another quirk to augment that. But we also see that um, they haven't subdued Dobby, really. Like, I'm like, he's still there. No one's cuffed him, put him into anything thing he's just knocked out for now I'm worried about that because they showed that little spark in his chest and I have a feeling he's still gonna try something because again Dobby is being held together by staples and hate so <laughs> now that he just got de defeated by his brother who he's been told his whole life is better than him yeah I think he's still gonna do one last like kamikaze burnout I, I just feel like that's what he's gonna do because he didn't want to live right he said he wanted to end this battle with his life so anyway I just need them to like do more than what they're doing there I think it's not enough but anyway on to the battle with all from one and endeavor and hawks i mean it was an interesting idea for the two of them to try to keep him occupied and i do think that endeavor had it in him to subdue him but you know one of all for one's biggest powers is being able to get in people's heads he does too much of this and people gotta learn to either plug their ears or just keep you know keeping him too distracted so we can't talk because the stuff that he was saying to Endeavor is all true, right? Like that's the reality. It sucks. Even though he's a villain, he is telling the truth. Endeavor was a terrible father. He was not a good father to any of his kids. He was too obsessed with his dream of creating the ultimate super soldier children that he didn't think about what that did to his kids. He didn't spend time actually nurturing and loving them. And when they weren't able to live up to whatever expectations he created, he discarded them and made them feel bad for it. So he was a terrible dad. And we know that recently he has come to realize that his ambitions were more hurtful than not. Anyway, you know, if I, we had the time and we had the, the space, I would definitely love to see more about what Endeavor's life was growing up. Like, was there a lot of expectations in his family too? I feel like usually these things tend to be generational is all I'm saying, but anyway. So yeah, him hearing all that stuff, we saw it got into his head and he got mad, but it's like, as I said in the episode, he needs to just own it at this point. He can't go back in time. He can't change it. He, you know, I mean, the stuff that All For One brought up about Dobby, like finding Dobby's body and everything, like I get that's kind of fresh take for him because we know now that Todoroki heard the whole story, but we know that um, Endeavor still has no idea how Dobby is still alive and how he came to work for All For One. So that's still a big gap in his knowledge. 
So I get that kind of becoming a sucker punch for him. But overall, the reality is that Endeavor can't go back. He can't, he can't change what happened in the past. All he can do at this point is be like, own up to him be like, yep, I was a crap dad. I was terrible to my kids. I'm the reason why, I'm part of the reason why Dobby is this way. I say part because Dobby did make decisions after that on his own, but I'm part of the reason that Dobby's this way. I wasn't a good dad to Shoto either, but I know that now and I'm doing best the best that I can. All I can do at this point is try to be the best father and you know member of my family that I can be, and that's that. So once he owns that, people won't be able to hurt him with it anymore, but it's pretty fresh. Honestly, it was literally just a few weeks ago that he came to terms with this. So it's sad that um, All For One got through to him, but we see that I guess in the next, next episode, he's finally gonna face his demons a little bit and come back, hopefully burning brighter and hotter than ever because he's gonna need to. The team is hurting. Hawks has now been multi like hit multiple times. My poor girl with the ears and uh, I forget the name of the, the dark shadow guy, both of them have been hit bad. They're not, they're not out for the count, but they've been hurt bad. So we need Endeavor to get back into the fight and to do it quickly because this is looking pretty bad. But yeah, it's getting crazy. I like how these episodes are just showing that this battle is not gonna be easy at all. All of this, and Midoriya still isn't back at the, the what is it called? The, the floating hell or whatever it was called. So whew, we got a lot going down, still a lot of battle to go. And I don't know which way it's gonna go at this point. I do think we're definitely gonna do your typical trope where things are gonna get pretty damn hopeless. And in the last minute, we're gonna have some stuff pull out, but yeah. Whew. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot right now, but it was a good episode and I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.